She's been compared to the likes of Bonnie Raitt, and Wilson of Heart, and Linda Ronstadt. Singer Laura McCormick has folk and country roots that blend seamlessly with her classic rock upbringing. The former ICU nurse recently released her debut album, Box Full of Trouble. Look how beautiful you are on that album cover. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. How was it making that transition from being an ICU nurse to being a full-time singer-songwriter? Honestly, it was very natural. I've always felt like I would eventually get to explore, you know, the, my path of music at some point. I didn't really see how that was going to happen. Took a little bit of a detour. It wasn't a straight route, that's for sure. But um, it's been very natural. You know, I used to help people more in a medical way, and now I'm getting to more on a soul level, I guess. You Absolutely. Say. Music very therapeutic yeah, for exactly. people. And you've been praised for your songwriting. You co-wrote eight songs yes. on the album. Uh -huh. So where do you draw inspiration for your songwriting? Every song on the album is either something that's happened to me personally or one of my friends or my perspective of something that's happened to one of my friends. Um, so just everyday life, I can draw it pretty much off of their their daily activities. <laughs> well, when, when I heard Box Full of Trouble, of course, I'm thinking, guys, men, because we know that they can cause yes, a lot of troubles. There's some, yes. uh, some heartbreak on there. Is that, when we say there's, trouble, yeah, we're talking about trouble there's here. There's a lot of heartbreak on this album. Um, there's a little bit of anger and love, too. So it's just kind of been the last four or five years of my life summed up into eight songs. And the box full of trouble that comes from one of the songs on the album, um, I'm Gonna Break Your Heart, was where that song comes from. But... It's just, you know, girls can be a box full of trouble. The songs, we can, I'm we hoping can. they're going to stir up a little, little uh -huh. trouble. And it literally is a box full of trouble. So, <laughs> And the debut single, Feel the Fire. Feel the Fire. Right, yes. and so you got to shoot a music video for this. Yes. And a uh, beautiful video. It has, you know, the hot car, the hot guy. <laughs> um, what about fire? Do we see some fire? There in is it? a lot of fire, yes. This video was shot um, at night in the middle of July. It was 90 plus degrees outside. I was wearing these leather pants surrounded You're by sweating. Girl. Fire. It was warm. Let's, let, we can put it that way. <laughs> was that fun for you? Oh, it was, it was such an exciting experience. I'd never done that before, so it was very fun. And so what's next for you? The spring, the summer, you got a lot coming up in 2015. Getting a lot of uh, gigs booked, getting out there, playing live. I do have another video that's going to be coming out in the next month or two for one, so you can keep an eye out for that. I do have a video out for Tough Chick now. Um, yeah, just playing live and working on my next album, writing for that. So. All right. Well, we're so glad you're here with us Thank you for today. Me. And Rick Rowell on guitar. Thank yeah. you so much. You can find Laura online at lauramccormickmusic.com. Right now, she is going to sing her debut single, Feel the Fire. Here's Laura McCormick and Rick Rowell.
And today we close with another song from Laura McCormick. This is an original that she and Rick Rao on guitar wrote together. It's called Stand By Me. You can find Laura's music online at lauramccormickmusic.com. Yeah. All the time. 